This is a new BOPGA 51.2 volt 105 amp hour or 5,376 watt hour golf cart battery. And this one is what they're calling the mini because it's such a small compact design. I think it's around 92 pounds or something like that. But here on the front, you've got some nice covers for your positive and negative connections. Remote display that you can mount on the dash of a golf cart. It plugs in here. A vent, an on off switch, and a couple of real nice heavy duty carrying handles. Metal case. It is Bluetooth, so it gives you a QR code to download the app there. The size of this particular battery eliminates the need to order a specific battery for a specific cart. This should fit in pretty much any cart out there if you're converting it to lithium or replacing a battery. It only has one little damaged section here, but that can be hammered down and that's the mounting bracket. That's a pretty heavy gauge metal. I'm not sure exactly what it is, and as far as instructions, it just has this one sheet. LifePo 4 battery user's manual, and it's blank on the back side. And then it comes with a few extra items here. This is the cable for the remote screen. It also has a nice metal mount that you can mount up on the dash that holds the uh, remote screen. And then in here is the screen itself. It's got a little plug in there, and then the smart battery LCD screen with uh, looks like one button there. It's got a positive and negative cables. They feel pretty heavy duty. It looks like four gauge, 200 degree silicone jacketed cables, probably a couple feet long. They give you this special strap for hauling out the uh, old lead acid batteries to help you remove them from your cart. And then a bag of mounting hardware. It looks like stainless. And then this kit comes with a real nice smart charger for lithium. 48 volt, 20 amp BOPGA golf cart smart charger. Shows you what the indicator lights do. Looks like it's got an indicator light on this side with a connection so you can permanently connect that to the battery terminals. And then a connection here with a 110 plug where you can plug that into a regular house power. Cooling fan on top. And this is real similar to some of the other chargers that I've used and tested. Same design and uh, I've had real good luck with them. So let's hope it uh, works the same as the other ones I've seen. Also has a little instruction sheet that comes with the charger as well. Just a little bit of work with the hammer and I was able to straighten that mounting flange out there. Like I said, that's real stout material, and uh, but it hammered out real nice and smooth. Let's get some measurements because this is one of the unique things about this particular BOPGA battery and it's a awesome feature. So we're looking at 12 and a half inches in width, 10 and a half inches tall to the top of this plate. And we're not much different here. It's almost square. It's 13 inches front to back. So it's just a hair over one square foot. It's the smallest 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour battery I've ever seen. And that's uh, one of the main features of this battery, in my opinion. Let's see what this app looks like that they have you download here. Apparently this app is not available in my country or region. So let me check another app I have. We'll see if we can pull this battery up on it. I think this is the JBD app that I already had on my phone and it's showing 52.76 volts currently. Really well balanced, 65 degrees or so. It looks, looks like it has four temperature sensors inside the battery. And this is a 16 cell, so that's why it's not 48 volt, it's a 51.2 volt. And we're all 3.29 something on every one of the 16 cells. Before I start to charge it, let's hook up this display screen and see what we can get off of that. We've got one end that plugs into the monitor, it looks like. It's got a pin where it can only go in in one direction. Nice retaining ring on there, it keeps that plugged in like if you're bouncing around on a golf cart and then plug in the screen. One simple plug. Let's turn the battery on and then we'll try this power. It looks like a power button. All right, there we go. So this is the remote screen, the smart battery LCD screen that you would be able to mount on the panel or on the dash of your golf cart. It shows discharge and charge are both on. 65 amp hours remaining. Maximum temperatures, those are in Celsius. Status is normal. It looks like it has page one, page two, and page three. 
Looks like you can hold that button down for a couple seconds and change the page. There's all 16 cells and their individual voltages. And here's page one. So battery's currently in standby at 62%. Shows your current voltage, temperature, and then the time till empty. All right, let's hook up the uh, charger and see if we can get a charge going on on this. It's got some nice plastic covers that just slide over these terminal posts. Looks like we need to dig out a couple of bolts. Let's turn the battery off for the moment. Are marked plus and minus, so that's kind of handy. I'm going to tighten these down because we're going to be charging at 20 amps, hopefully, or close to it. And then on this end of the charger, simple as just plugging this in. And then you can plug this in into, into the wall, which I will do right now. And it just started charging. I heard the charger come on. So currently, current is 16.6. And it says charging. Two hours and 25 minutes, time to full. And then on this charger, it says blinking red light when it's charging. It goes to yellow when it gets to 80% and then green when it's fully charged. And the fan is blowing away and it's blowing a lot of air. Well, that probably works pretty good to keep that cooled down during the charge. And the app is showing exactly the same information. Only the app gives you watts and power. So 888 watts. 16.42, 16.42 in current, 2 hours and 24 minutes, 2 hours and 23 minutes, 63%. So real handy. It's nice to have both the app and the remote monitor as well. So this golf cart battery just came off the charger. It's topped off. We've got 100%, 54.46 volts, and I've got it all connected up to a shunt and this meter, which is what we're gonna to use to read the amp hours and watt hours. And that's all zeroed out, ready to go. And I've got it connected to this 4,000 watt, 48 volt inverter. And for a load, I'm gonna use this light setup. And we'll get that set up and we'll see what we can get and how long that's gonna to take to discharge this battery. We'll turn that on. Looks like maybe 15 amps. 793 watts, six hours and 59 minutes. Okay, I added a couple of studio lights and a fan. <laughs> Try to speed this up. So we're now up to just under 20 amps of discharge. And it's telling us now five hours and 10 minutes. So we'll see you in about five hours. All right, the test is complete as far as I'm concerned. We have met the uh, advertised rated capacity. The test is still going, but I've shut the fan off and I'm about to shut everything else off. Let's look at the meter here and I'll show you the results. The fan on the inverter just came on. We have 105 amp hours, 5,450 watt hours, and uh, it's still going. The voltage of the battery is at 46.7 volts. So it passes the test. Still showing six minutes, so. All right, we'll shut her down here. All right, let's give this BOPGA 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour golf cart battery a uh, little bit of a stress test. Let me give you a quick rundown of the, of the setup. 4,000 watt, 48 volt inverter, induction cooktop, that'll be about 1,300 watts. We're connected to the hard wire connection on the inverter, but I have the uh, induction cooktop in one of the other outlets. And I've got two cords coming out of this. One's for a shop back, and the other one is for a 1500 watt ceramic space heater. So we're gonna to try to get this as close to 4,000 watts coming out of this BOPGA battery, and we'll just see how it goes. And I'm gonna turn on the induction cooktop first. That'll be around 1300 watts. So it looks like that's 27 amps and 1400 watts or so. Next will be the heater. That'll be another 1500 watts and it's going to start out a little higher than that, closer to 19, then it'll back off a little bit. Oh yeah, that's getting up there. That's 3700 watts and 68 amps. The fan on the inverter has come on. The battery is doing okay. 
This battery has a 200 amp BMS in it. We got a jet flying over and I'm going to turn this shop back on. That's going to be about another thousand watts. We'll see if it'll handle it. And I probably won't let that run very long just to be safe, but it's uh, let's see what we can get it up to. And it's going to be loud, so bear with me. Eighty six amps coming out of the battery, four thousand three hundred watts. That's a little more than the inverter is rated for, but it's still hanging in there. Wow. Yeah, this battery is a beast. So is the inverter. 85 amps of current on the meter. The battery voltage is 50.17, 50.18 volts with that load on it. And the timer says it'll last 45 minutes at that rate. 4,000 watts, 4,200, almost 4,300 watts. Wow. Now we're just about to get boiling water over there. That is crazy. Nice and cool. All right, let's shut this. Shut the shop back up for a minute. 3,200 now, 65 amps. Yeah, what a heck of a battery. Really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna shut everything down here. Well, there's a look at the BOPGA LifePo 4 golf cart battery. You can get this battery on Amazon. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Mine came with the battery, the charger, and some wiring and the remote screen that'll go with it. I think it would not only be an excellent golf cart battery, but what a power bank battery for a small home backup system. And some of the coolest things, it's got Bluetooth plus the remote monitor. The size of it is unbelievable. That's less than a third of the weight of 48 volts worth of lead acid golf cart batteries. So what a huge savings in weight and space. Charges up from zero to full in about five hours with the charger that comes with it. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to review. I really like these batteries, and this one seems to be a really nice one. If you want to see another video, click the video on the screen now, and we'll meet you over there.